welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing phenomenal. In today's look, I'm going to be recording a really cute Valentine's Day makeup look. If you guys are new here, my name is Tiffany and I record videos all about makeup, beauty, and anything that has to do with my day-to-day -day life. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel and click on that bell button to be notified whenever I post a new video. But if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this really cute Valentine's Day makeup look, then just stay tuned. Alright, so to start off this look, I'm going to be taking the Kylie Jenner 2019 Holiday Palette and I'm going to be dipping into the shade right here, which is Forever Young. And I'm just going to take this on a fluffy brush and apply this onto my crease. And I'm just going to be using this as a transition shade. You want to make sure to really blend this out because, um, again, it is going to be your... You don't have to be too particular with where you're applying this. This is just going to be um, one of the transition shades so that everything blends out really nicely. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here, which is in Rosé, and I'm going to apply this right on top of that pink. Alright, so with this shade, you want to make sure to start dragging it out towards the end and kind of making a slight curve because we are going to be doing a cut crease today. It's not going to be anything like super, super dramatic, but we will, in a way, it will be dramatic because we are using a nice hot pink shade. But it's not going to be like a super sharp, crisp cut crease. Um, but you do want to make sure to start winging this out over here and making sure to create that shape so that once we cut the crease, we have a guide on where we're cutting. All right, so now that I have those two shades blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Candy Heart, and I'm going in with the flat shader brush, and I'm applying this to my outer crease right over here. And you wanna make sure to really pack that shade in there. I am gonna be blending this out, so it's not gonna be, you know, you don't have to be too precise with where you're applying it, but you do wanna make sure to keep it at least in your outer crease. That way you can have more control on, you know, where the color is going to end up when you blend it all out. And as you can see, I'm just gradually building the intensity of this shade up and I'm making sure to focus this in my crease because again, we are doing a cut crease. So we want to make sure to keep this in the crease and also in the outer corner over here. So I just want to blend, blend, blend. Blending is key in this look because you don't want to look crazy with all these colors going on. So you want to really make sure to get in there and blend it. You know what I mean?
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take the ColourPop Ooh La La palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade right here, which is Caddy, and I'm taking a pointed eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to apply this directly into my crease, and I'm also gonna apply this on my outer corner. And this is really just going to deepen the look. So I'm gonna start by applying this in my outer crease, and then slowly drag it into my outer corner. And then I'm just going to use the same brush that we were using earlier to blend it all out. All right, I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that shade Caddy and make it a little bit more darker because it wasn't exactly the darkness that I wanted it so I'm going to apply a little bit more onto my outer corner and then also drag that into my crease All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the cut crease. And I think I changed my mind. Instead of doing a full on cut crease, what I'm gonna do is only cut my crease up to here. So what I'm gonna do is take my concealer and this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. So I'm just gonna take the shade medium peach and apply about two scoops onto the back of my hand. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a flat shader brush like this one, and I'm just going to dip it back into the concealer, and 
and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and the trick I like to do when I cut my crease is I like to pull or tug I guess you could say or pull on my eye like this and then I raise my eyebrow and that makes it easier when you're cutting the crease it kind of makes it look smoother as you're cutting it so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just that I'm gonna lift right over here and then raise my eyebrow All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this Vasanti big fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat that out. All right, so going back in with the shade Caddy, I'm going to apply this right where the purple meets with the white or with the concealer and I'm just going to apply this right to the edge and then go back in with that fluffy brush to blend it out that way there's not so much of a harsh line there All right, so I'm going to dip back into the Kylie eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Martini Mama. And I'm taking a little tiny flat shader brush. This is the um, Real Techniques brush. And I'm putting this right on top of where we had applied the concealer and cut the crease. All right, and then dipping back into the ColourPop Ooh La La palette, I'm taking the shade right here in Tinkled, and I'm using the same exact flat shader brush and applying this right on top of that shade Bikini Mama. This is pretty because it has a nice iridescence, so I'm just gonna pack this on top to give a little bit more of like a shimmer, and iridescence effect the other one was really pretty but it was a little bit too plain so I'm actually gonna ditch the brush and take my finger and dip back into that shade tinkled and just apply that right on top of that shade bikini mama this is really pretty because it has a really nice iridescence so I decided it would look perfect with this so yeah I'm just gonna apply that right on top
Alright, so to conceal the circles under my eyes, I'm going to be taking the Artistry Exact Fit Perfecting Concealer. And this is the brightener, so it is the pink shade. And I'm just going to apply this right under my eyes. Because I do have really bad dark circles. So I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. So it's going to cancel out all the purple and all of the black under my eye. And then I'm going to go back in with the Vasanti brush that we used to pat down the cut crease. And I'm going to take this and just blend out this brightener. And I'm just making sure to really pat this into my skin. I really like this brush because it's nice and flat so you are able to get, you know, in the corners. And so I just press this in to make sure that the concealer is actually going into my skin and penetrating my skin and not just staying on top and getting cakey. Especially under your eyes since the skin is so delicate, you want to make sure to really press it in. And you don't want to tug and pull everywhere. So I'm just pressing this in. Alright, so because the foundation I will be using today is matte, I'm going to be going in with the Artistry Studio Multi-Purpose Dry Oil Spray. And I'm just going to spray this onto my face to kind of give a little bit of moisture before I apply the mattifying foundation. And because I already did my eyes, I'm going to make sure to only focus this on the sections where I want to apply the product. So I don't want to spray this from too far away because if I do, then it will get all over my eyes and mess up my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to focus this on the two areas areas of my cheek so I'm gonna do one spray here one spray here and I'm just going to rub that in and then whatever leftover product is on my fingers I'm gonna take that onto my forehead Alright, so now that I prepped my skin with that multi-purpose dry oil spray, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And the one I'll be using today is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm in the shade 220. So I'm just going to go ahead and take three pumps on the back of my hand. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take two pumps on the back of my hand because this is a full coverage foundation. So I don't want to be, you know, too heavy with it. So I'm just going to take the two pumps on the back of my hand and dab that onto my face. All right, and now I'm going to take the Morphe M444 foundation buffing brush, and I'm just going to buff this right into my skin. I've really been liking this brush lately. I've got it during Christmas as a Christmas gift, um, and I've really been liking it. It leaves my foundation really nice and like smooth and flawless, and I've really been liking it. And especially for my full coverage foundation, it actually allows me to get the full coverage from the foundation. I was noticing that when I do use the sponge, like for full coverage foundation, it kind of takes all of the product away. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like the sponge absorbs all of the product. And so I don't really get the full finish of the full coverage. Um, so I've really been liking this, especially for my full coverage foundation. So... You guys need to try out this brush. This is the Morphe M444 Foundation Buffing Brush. All right, now I'm going to go in with my concealer, and this is the e.l.f. 16-hour Camo Concealer, and I'm going to be using the shade Medium Peach, and I'm just going to apply this right under my eye. And I want to make sure to bring this up to the sides of my nose 
because I want to create a really nice and natural contour. So when you do bring the concealer up to the side of your nose, you don't have to actually put like any bronzer or any contour on your nose because it again it creates that natural contour so it makes it very you know seamless and really really nice so i've really been liking that technique as well so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my concealer over here then i'm gonna go ahead and take this down the center of my forehead a little bit down the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and on my chin and then i'm gonna go back in with this Vasanti brush and buff this all out and i'm just gonna make sure to really pat this into my skin again because i don't want to move it around All right, so to set my face, I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Lose Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Fair Light. And I'm just gonna take this on a powder brush and make sure to set all of my face so that nothing moves around. All right, so I'm gonna start off by setting under my eyes because that is the area that creases the quickest. So I'm gonna start by setting under my eye and I'm just gonna pat that in. All right, so to contour my face, I'm gonna be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I'm going to take these two shades right here, and I'm just going to mix them together and apply this onto the hollows of my cheek, and just really carve that out to bronze up my face a little bit more and create some definition there.
For my blush, I'm going to be dipping into the Ulta Beauty Peach Pop Palette. And I'm going to be taking the shade right here, which is in Spice. And this is a really pretty rosy type of blush. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the apples of my cheek. And make sure to really blend that into my contour. For my highlight, I'm going to be taking the Kai Lighter in the shade Ice Me Out, and I'm just going to go ahead and use this on a fan brush and apply this right onto the high points of my cheek. Alright, so in the Kylie Jenner palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Forever Young and Rosé, and I'm just going to mix them together, and I'm going to go ahead and blend this right under my lash line, my lower lash line, and this is just going to be used as a transition shade, because I am going to be going back in with that shade Caddy, which was a really deep purple plum shade, and I'm going to apply that under my eye, like under my lower lash line to smoke it out. So this is just going to be used as a transition shade for when I apply that purple. Alright, so I'm going to dab the brush very slightly into the shade. Alright, so I'm going to Alright, so I'm going to dab the brush ever so lightly into the shade Candy Heart, and I'm going to apply this starting to the outer corner of my lower lash line and then blend that slowly to the inside. Alright, so now I'm going to dip into the shade Caddy right here and apply that right under my lash line. And again, I'm starting from the outer corner and then slowly blending that to the inner corner.
All right, I'm gonna go in and give a coat to my bottom lashes and the mascara I'll be using is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara and this is in the shade Black is Black and I'm just gonna give a coat to my bottom lashes. All right, so moving on to the lips, I'm gonna start by lining my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Moonwalk. So what I'm just gonna do is line my lips. All right, so now that I lined my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Kiny Lip Liner. All right, so now that I went ahead and lined my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Kylie Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade One Wish, and this is a matte liquid lipstick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my lips in. And then I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of that lip liner again to really just sharpen everything up. All right, and because I feel like it needs just a little bit of gloss, I'm gonna go in with the Ulta Beauty Jelly Gloss Lip Gel. And this one doesn't have a name on it, but it's a really nice rosy pink with some gold flecks in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right on top of that Kylie lipstick. I'm not gonna apply too much, just enough to add some shine on there. All right, perfect. And now to finish off the look, I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm just gonna spray this onto my face and let that set everything in. All right, you guys, so to complete the look, I did add a little bit of rhinestones on there. Originally, I was not going to apply them on, but I saw them laying around, and I was like, you know what? What the heck? Why not? So I just think it plays up the look really, really cute and adds a little bit of jazz in there. So I really, really like how this came out. And this is the completed Valentine's Day makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed recording it for you guys. If you do recreate this look, definitely make sure to take pictures and tag me in there down below i will include my social media as far as my instagram and my facebook so you can go ahead and tag me in your pictures but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video i love you guys so so much and i'll definitely see you in the next one bye guys <clears throat>